Hey guys, by Austin Ramos, and today we're going to be covering all of the Miami Dolphins draft selections. Uh, draft just finished up a couple minutes ago, and uh, bringing a video to you guys. Uh, sorry I haven't been active since my last video, even though I did have like 3,000 views, which was amazing. Thank you to all of you guys who watched. And uh, so, let's start this off. Miami has the Dolphins, the greatest football team. So we have the first selection we had, fifth overall. Tua Tagovailoa and the quarterback from Alabama and take for Tua finally happened. We got him. What's next? Uh, honestly, probably sit him for a little bit and let him just like, honestly, like just learn from Fitz, understand how the NFL thing works and everything compared to even though Alabama is pretty much an NFL team, if you guys want to say that. Um, but yeah, uh, following that, 18th pick overall. We have Austin Jackson, tackle out of USC. And this guy is a big boy. He has an inspirational story, uh, giving his bone marrow from, from his own body to his sister who needed it because he was a perfect match. And then the last pick that we had in the first round, we had the 26th pick from the Texans, and we traded it out to the Green Bay uh, Packers. And that ended up being Jordan Love for the Packers, which was a surprise for uh, pretty much everybody. Uh, of the NFL fans and whatnot, but we traded with them, got the 30th overall pick, and I believe we got another pick. But um, we got Noah, and I'm gonna butcher his last name. Igbenogany, I think that was close. He was a cornerback out of Auburn, and uh, this guy's pretty good. Uh, he's probably one of the top seven, I'd say, corners that were in this draft. And it was kind of surprising for our, us to select him there. Um, no one really expected that. But I don't disagree with the selection. I think it was a pretty good pick. And uh, I feel like it could really help out our secondary uh, at the slot position, have Bobby at, at safety, and hopefully our new safety, which is uh, coming up next in the next three picks. In the second round, we had uh, two picks. So first round, we had three. Second round, we had two. Uh, we had... The seventh overall selection of the second round, which was 39th overall, and it was Robert Hunt. He's a offensive lineman out of Louisiana, Raging Cajuns, and uh, he's he's a big boy. <laughs> and uh, hope to see what he can produce for us. Uh, he could play a tackle. He could play offensive guard. Um, so it'll be interesting. He'll probably go to right guard if anything. And then. Um, the 24th pick of the second round, 56 overall, Raekwon Davis, defensive tackle out of Alabama. This guy is a huge mother trucker, okay? That's all I'm going to say. And then third round, uh, sixth selection overall of the third, 70th overall, was Brandon Jones, safety out of Texas. And I like this guy's play style a lot. Um, he reminds me a lot of Rashad Jones and uh, what he can bring to the table in the sense of how he plays. And uh, that's perfect because we just got rid of Rashad Jones. And it's funny because they have the same last name, Jones. So take it to day three of the NFL draft. Started off with the fourth round. Uh, we have the fifth pick there. Um, 111 overall. And we take Salmon Kennedy, guard out of Georgia. This guy's a big boy. He's a, I like his blocking. And uh, interesting to see what he can bring to the team. Following that, in the fifth round, we have the ninth overall selection. In the fifth, 154th overall, Jason Stowbridge, defensive end out of North Carolina. And um, this guy's a South Florida native. I heard he's from Miami, which is uh, even better. But before I continue, we had the 153rd pick, correct? Before we selected Jason Stowbridge. And uh, as you can see, the running back was probably a need that everyone wanted uh, us to fill and uh, we didn't really do it to draft picks but we did trade our 153rd pick which was the one right before Jason and uh, we got Matt Bereda out of the San Francisco 49ers which was I think a phenomenal trade a uh, fourth round pick for Matt Bereda which is not bad at all uh, love his pace of game he's a pretty speedy back and uh, to pair him up with Jordan Howard which is kind of a bruiser type of back uh, I feel like this would be very good for the Miami Dolphins run game in this upcoming season. Following that, we have the fifth, uh, fifth round still, 
19th pick of the fifth round, 164th overall. We have Curtis Weaver from Boise State, defensive end. Uh, this guy is pretty good. Uh, I like how he can get to the quarterback and help out with the run stopping. And then following that, we have long snapper Blake Ferguson in the sixth round, uh, sixth pick overall in the sixth round, 185 overall. And uh, he's a long snapper from out of LSU. <sighs> I kind of hate wasting picks like on um, like long snappers and stuff. I feel like we can pick up those guys as undrafted free agents and stuff. But I mean, if they really like the guy, uh, I, I can guess why not not to pick him. Uh, we did get rid of John Denny last year, and then we had uh, to Boris Pepper or something like that. Um, the long snaps weren't really botched last season, so I don't really see. Long snapper has a big position of need. I mean, it is a sixth round, but still. Then we get to the final pick, which was the seventh round, 30th, 32nd pick of the seventh round. And it is overall 246. Malcolm Perry, wide receiver, out of Navy. Um, this guy is a do-it-all player. Uh, there was actually a funny tweet I saw from the Dolphins, and it was like them. <laughs> it was just them joking around about asking what this uh this guy does but basically in navy they they didn't really have um a solid passing game so this guy would play quarterback would play wide receiver running back like you name it he played it at navy and uh, i find that really good for the dolphins to have a do-it-all player which is great for us so this uh this was a tweet it's like what's your position it's not focusing what's your position and then <laughs> it's malcolm yes which I find that freaking hilarious. Um, but I feel like that's very good for the team because it can bring a versatility to the team uh, like as the likes of Taysom Hill, even though he's not as big as him. Uh, just the do-it-all type of player, I love the idea of picking him up there. Um, and it was in a great spot, all the way in the last pick that we had, which I do not mind overall. So in total, we had three in the first, two in the second, one in the third, one in the fourth, well, uh, through two in the fifth we technically had three in the fifth but then we traded it away to San Fran um, and then we got six and seven so overall that is about what three five seven ten eleven overall picks so not bad and then you get also Matthew uh, Matt Beretta included so technically 12 picks which is not bad at all um, and I feel like we really filled in some positions of need uh, addressing obviously quarterback situation number one overall that is the biggest thing we needed to do the next was offensive linemen we picked up three we picked up three offensive linemen and we picked up three guys who are considered defensive linemen picked up a cornerback picked up a safety picked up a versatile player and we picked up a long snapper so Overall, I feel like we addressed a lot of our needs and we picked up another running back, which was another need. And uh, honestly, uh, this is probably one of the best drafts we maybe had in a while. Uh, maybe not as recognizable players for the selections, but um, I'm pretty sure this, this management and Coach Flores knows what they're doing and uh, have faith in these players who get the job done and do pretty much what he wants. So with that being said, uh, I expect us to sign some undrafted free agents, but we have almost like 80 people to the roster already, so probably like 10 undrafted free agents or so, or any veteran uh, players who have not received a contract yet. Uh, I expect them to probably get picked up too, so a mix of those. Uh, those will be the next couple of players added to the Miami Dolphins roster heading into this 2020 season. But that being said, it's we're pretty much just cutting it really close here. Uh, with how many people, more people we can sign for, um, obviously, training camp and preseason. And then we obviously have to make that cut 53-man roster. Um, I think it might have changed with the rules with uh, the season being extended, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, 53. So that being said, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. hope you guys enjoyed the draft. Let me know what you guys thought of the draft picks that the Dolphins did. And if you're not a Dolphins fan, let me know what your favorite uh, pick overall was. Or what your favorite teams uh, picked that was your favorite. You get me? <laughs> uh, so, yeah.
pretty much if you enjoyed the video give it a nice thumbs up don't forget to subscribe click the post notifications and don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram at biosinramos and check out biosinramos.com update my uh, videos there every day uh, every time i post a video so hope you guys enjoyed almost forgot almost forgot fins up Miami has a dolphin, the greatest football team.